معكم ديما سليمان جود مورنينج ذيس از ديما سليمان فروم حسن تيم كان يو هير مي اف يو دونت مايند اشواء اف يو كان كونفيرم ذات ايفري بادي كان هير مي الجميع سامع استاذه ديما صوت واضح اكسلنت صوت واضح الحمد لله اكسلنت سو اي ويل بي ان انجلش سينس اي ام تشيكينج ذا نيمز اند اي ثينك سم اوف يو از نون ارابيك سبيكينج سو ويل ذات بي اوكي ام او انكم حابين عادي ما هو مشكله باللغه الانجليزيه اذا في احد عنده مشكله يعطينا خبر الكل السلام عليكم اذا كان في احد عنده اشكاليه باللغه الانجليزيه آه يتفضل يقول اذا تمام كلكم ما عندكم مشكله يصير خاص ان شاء الله بكون الشرح بالانجليش So I am sharing now my screen. Can you see it? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let's start. Um, as far as I know, uh, all of you are familiar with Hassan, um, and my understanding is that this session is going to be a refresh. Uh, I'm sure um, you know how to uh, uh, log into Hassan and uh, and enter uh, the data for Pixel into Hassan. However, this session will be a quick refresh, and uh, if I can, I will be um, I will try to answer all your questions. And of course, uh, later on, feel free to contact Hassan team if you need more support. If you have more questions regarding how to use, uh, how to access Hassan, and how to enter all your data for uh, Pixel on Hassan. So everybody knows that Hassan is a web-based application. So uh, to log into Hassan, you need to go to the URL. So I logged in HTTPS hasnetraining.moh.gov.sa. This is the training environment uh, which allows me to enter any dummy data. Uh, while when you go and access Hassan and enter your actual data, the clients that you have trained and you want to create a pixel report for them, you will go to Hassan. Dot moh dot gov dot sa not hasna training. So I logged in hasna training, the URL of the site, and then it will open the screen for me. I will enter my username and my password, and I will log in. It will open this opening session where you have organization, which will put the name of your workplace. Meaning if you are working in a specific, specific hospital like Al Imam Hospital in Riyadh, it will show your name. Here the role, it will show the role which is a pixel uh, role. So you will not see super user. I am super user. I can see many things in Hassan. For you, you will have specific role that was given to you. And according to this role, you have access to certain areas in Hassan. And then the language and you can choose the language. So I can choose English or Arabic. Hassan has two interfaces, English and Arabic, and you can choose your language. You click on continue. And then it will open uh, the main screen on Hassan. For you, I am Dima Sleiman. I am super user for Hassan. It shows me so many icons. For you, you will only see this icon, investigation. Now let's put a scenario and explain to you what you will need to do to give your clients or the people that you train Bixel. So you are working in a hospital and you have a new uh, 10 new employees and they tell you that you need to do training for them and you need to give them Bixel uh, uh, certificate. So what you do is that you go, you get them uh, um, in a meeting room and do the infection control training, the, whatever you are usually familiar with, in addition to whatever is new now for you, and you will do the training. After you complete the training for 10 people, you come to Hassan, 
you log in using your username and password and you go into Hassan and then you click on investigation. So and then you go to the left here, if everybody can see me, search clients. OK, so clients is the name. Why we don't say search patient or whatever. Clients is the person that you did training for him. So you have the first one that you trained is Dima Sleiman. The second one uh, is Ashwa. The third one is uh, um, Ahmad. The fourth one is Muhammad and so on and so forth. So you have the file for the first one that you trained and you can't want to give him pixel. You click on search clients. Why? Because first Hassan has to double check that this person that you're going to enter and open a file for him on Hassan is not found on Hassan. Now bear in mind that Hassan is a national application. So if for once you create for Dima Sleiman a pixel one time here, it will stay. Even if I go somewhere else to another region, to another hospital, and I will search for Dima Sleiman, you will find Dima Sleiman. Now, of course, I will not be able, the other people will not be able to see my file unless we give permission that we transferred from one region to another region, from one hospital to the other hospital. But my demographic data that Dima Sleiman has a file on Hassan will appear. OK, so this is very important feature in Hassan so that people don't do duplicates. So now I am talking about uh, Al, uh, this person, um, Ahmad uh, Ghazali. I'm going to create uh, a file for him. So I search for this and I will enter his personal identifier. OK, his personal identifier. I will enter it. Uh, his. Uh, OK, this is the personal identifier and then I will say it is personal identifier. What are the personal identifiers? It's the national ID for Saudis and the ECAMA for non Saudis. OK, so I will choose what type is it? It is personal identifier. Client ID is an ID that will be generated by the system once you open a file for him. Like when you go to a hospital, of course you have your national ID, your ECAMA or your um, national ID, the Saudi ID, but also you might have a medical record number that when they open a file. So when I open a file for this client on Hassan, he will have a client ID, but for now I am entering his personal identifier. And then I click on search, very straightforward and easy. What does it tell me? Search results, no search results. No records were found matching the search criteria, meaning that this person is not on Hassan. Nobody opened a file for this person on Hassan. If anybody opened a file for this person on Hassan, whether for Bixel or for infection control or for any communicable disease, he will find it. Of course, he will not see anything except unless he has clearance to see whatever he's looking for, but at least my demographic will be found. I will click on create client in Arabic in Sha' Muraja. OK. It will open a demographic page very straightforward. I will put the basic information. Now when you see a red star, it means these fields are mandatory. So I will enter his last name. I will say Ghazali. And first name. John. And then uh, whatever, if you have a middle name, grandfather name, I will enter the date of birth. Please always en enter it using the calendar so I can go back. Before 2011. And it's June 1st and then I will enter the gender. The nationality. OK, and then this is the personal identifier, the type it's an e comma. Here, health region organization, it will display your 
region where you are working. So here, because it's training environment, it's displaying um, a, a random region, but it will be display the region that you are working for. Now here, who am I talking about? Who are, whose information I'm entering? The person you train. So you are going to tell me I need to put his region. Hassan, to make your life easier, assumes that the region of the person you're training is the same region that you are with. So he enters your region with the assumption that this is the region of the training. Now, there are lots of information in here, but these are the most important information. Last name, first name, middle name, OK, date of birth, gender, nationality, the personal identifier, very important so that when you search for him later on and you don't know his Hassan ID, you can find him. Then Ikama. OK, and then you go to second section, telephone number, you click on add and you enter his phone number. OK, usage, so you say it, it is his mobile contact. And then it's effective from now when I opened his file, I will click apply. Oh, sorry. I did not enter. I have no idea. Just a second, please. All right, so now it is in a box and then I can go down and enter his address. It's the same thing I can add. And I will say it's his home, uh, Villa, I don't know, 23, Olaya. Okay, and then I will click apply. So it's in, a, in, in the table. And the third information, very important, email address. Okay, now, whose email I'm putting here? Please, what you're putting here, is the email of the person you trained, not your email, okay? Because we have uh, something in Hassan, every day, whoever you train and you fill the file for that person, he will receive by email his pixel record, okay? So if you want him to directly, if you're not going to print for him his uh, pixel record, he will receive it. So, but if to be able to receive it, you have to, enter his email. You can enter or either workplace or his uh, personal e uh, email. And then click apply. Once I completed my information, I will go and click save. Now this you do only once for this client. The next time you search for him, it's, uh, this means that خلاص, you will find him. You don't need to enter his demographic information. I have a message saying, saying client was saved successfully. Then I will go, do you see this I? Okay, under investigation, I will go to subject summary. What does it mean? I am going to the screen where I can enter all the information that is pertinent to Pixel. Now, when you open this uh, summary, patient summary, here you don't see this, okay? I can see this because I am super user. You will not see this at all. All what you will see is this Pixel. And as you can see, the client is in context. What does it mean? It means the system is telling me that you are working on this client. So I am working on John Ghazali's file and this is his information and I will only see you, your team, when you receive your uh, account, I will only see this Bixel Encounter Group. I click on Encounter. What am I saying? 
I am saying now by saying a create encounter that I am opening a, um, an incidence of pixel training. And this you have to do it only once. Please, we have always people every time they open if uh, they have like, for example, he completed this training and in one year you want to do a training again because it expired. They go and do the same thing they do and create a new encounter. No, this ac uh, activity that I'm doing now, you do it once for the client once only. So it will open create encounter details. And then you put encounter date, meaning when you did the pixel training and then encounter type is pixel. That's it. And here you go to responsible organization. Is Hassan. It shows here Hassan, but for you it will show your hospital. OK, and location, it will show your workplace location like Al Imam Hospital. Now this information, where did Hassan take it? It took it from the user, yani you, the person who's entering the data. In the assumption again that you are, that the person, your client, the person that you trained has your same workplace. OK, now if you are doing training now, you are working in Al Imam Hospital, OK? And um, they tell you go and do training in King Salman Hospital, OK? So the people who are you are doing this John Ghazali is based in King Salman Hospital. And here, what will you see? King uh, Prince um, Al Imam Hospital. So at this instance, you can change it. But the assumption is always that you are training the people in your hospital. So here you will find your workplace here, Al Imam Hospital, for example, and Al Imam Hospital. But if the person you are training is not going to work in the same place that you are working, you can change it. So how to change it? You click on find. Very easy. It opens organization name. You enter the first letter. Let's say, uh, for example, um, OK, so it tells you Jeddah Clinic Hospital, blah, blah, blah. You select it. You click on it and you select. This is if you want, if you're what appeared here, if what appear and then you can close. This is why if what appears here, this responsible organization is different from where the person you are filling the pixel for is working. Is this clear? And then you click on save. Um, I'm going to stop here for a second and ask you a question. Please, is this clear? You can ask a question. Clear, clear. clear. Excellent. Uh, most important for me on this to know two things. The first one, you only create an encounter once. This is very important. So next year when you go and do training again and you want to issue him um, a valid pixel uh, card, please do not go and create another encounter. OK, and the second point is that the organization and the workplace, the location, it defaults yani automatically it comes as your workplace. So if the person you trained and yourself have the same workplace, خلص, no problem. You click on save and you are fine. But if it is different, you are training in different areas. So you have to change this into the workplace of the person you trained. Don't forget you are a user. You are a data entry, but the person you're opening the file for is the person you're going to give Bixel to. OK, so here it's telling me this is the client in context and this is the encounter. It means when the first time I opened an incidence of pixel train, I go to encounter UDF. This is the form that you fill. Very straightforward and simple. So I click on encounter UDF. It opened the page of encounter UDF and down. It has two sections available forms and filled out forms. So it tells me you have one form available, which is available for Pixel. OK, this form. And here, zero form that are filled. 
It means this person has never had a pixel form filled for him. Again, in one year, when I go and I need to renew his pixel, I will not fill a new UDF. Please uh, uh, bear in mind, you don't go and fill a new UDF. You go, one second, please. You go to the same form and you go and uh, uh, add a new uh, section. You don't fill a new UDF. Only one encounter, only one UDF from now till the coming 10 years of this person working in the hospital. So I click on the form. Fadal. Any question? Uh, excuse me. Yes, please. Uh, if, we, if we have many UDFs for one person, how we can delete? Excellent. I will show you once I fill the UDF, how you can delete the UDF. And thank you for bringing this because this is what the people are doing. This is the mistake that people are doing. So I, I always check before I go and fill the form, check if there is any filled out form. Please check. So I find here, and no, he has no form filled. I will go and click fill out form. It will open a very easy and straightforward form that is part of your work. OK, so the first section. Job category, so this John is medical. If other is you can specify, so if you click on other, it will open other and you can type. But for me, he's a doctor, OK, and he's in the Department of Internal Medicine. If other you specify and now we go to the other, the most important section here. As you can see, we have divided the components of the training into different sections. So what is your training? It's divided into components. You train them on respiratory fit screening. You train them on paper. You train them on hand hygiene and PPE. You train them on spill management. You train them on needle stick injury, on transmission based precautions and on vaccination review. So this is the this is the training you do. So you did the training. Now you want to document what you did. So First, I go to respiratory fit screening. OK, so this is important. This is where most of the problem happens. Respiratory fit screening date. You have to enter the date that you did respiratory fit screening. Why this is important? Because depending on the date, it's expired. You know, uh, it, later on when you fail, for example, respiratory fit, for example, if you are uh, qualitative and quantitative, the expiry is different. So it's very important to enter. So Anna, I did the training today, so I will click and I will choose today. And then you will answer, does the employee have any current medical problems that causes uh, shortness of breath or any issues? And you answer no, no. Does he have rash on the face? So what are you trying to establish here? You are trying to establish if this person ha can have uh, N95 or He's uh, sorry, no, not applicable or uh, he should have paper. If you answer any of these questions, if all these questions are no. OK. Here, sorry. Until here, if all these questions are no and then you go to N95 respirator fit, you should not answer no. You should answer yes. Is this understood? Because all if you all these answers are no, it means the person should have paper or N95. He should have N95. So you go to N95 respirator uh, respirator fit and you answer yes. If you answer no, when you go and print your pixel, it tells you you have an error. And if yes, specify type of uh, uh, screening you did. OK, so quantitative or qualitative, if it's qualitative, no issue. If it's quantitative, it will tell you if quantitative piece specify, and then you choose the type of N95. And then please let me finish this section. Now, if, OK, I'm going to uh, OK, I can hear people in the back end. Is this a question or people talking? Mm. 
Can you please ready? mute? Please mute. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Did anybody stop me for a question? No, no. Ah, perfect. OK, so this is very important and this is where all the confusion is happening. So if you answer all these no, so he doesn't have a rash, he doesn't have shortness of breath, he doesn't have a beard, he's not whatever. When you reach this other section, which is size and model, you and you have the question N95 fit, you have to answer yes. If you answer no, you are contradicting yourself. Why are you answering no? OK, if everything is up, no, it should be yes. And then if yes, specify type of screening quantitative. If quantitative, specify it. If qualitative, no need to fill this. And then you choose the N95. OK, and this is uh, if other. Yani if you choose another N95, you can enter it here. OK, now if the answer to any screening question is yes, then a paper is provided. So if you answered any of the screening questions that you are familiar with by yes, then you go here and N95 fit, you say no, and then paper, you say yes. Clear? All right. And then you enter the fit tester, uh, Haida, uh, name. Okay? This is the first section, which is the most confusing for people. Then we go to proper training. Now this has nothing to do with what type of respirator he's going to choose. This is referring to the proper training, which is the element in your training where you tell him, Habibi, if you have any of the issue and you cannot handle N95, this you can have a pupper and a pupper. This is the pupper. You show him the pupper, how it looks like and how it works. OK, and this is a new element that you are including in your training because um, the people thought there is no way an um, a healthcare provider does not know a pupper. Bear in mind that uh, now he doesn't have shortness of breath. Maybe later in 10 years when he's older, he, he has issues and he needs a pupper. So he needs, he needs to understand what is a pupper. So you say pupper training, yes. Very important to answer the yes and no. The date, which is today, and that's it. And then I go to hand hygiene and PPE. I will click add. Hand hygiene competency done. Yes, date today. PPE competency done. Yes, and then date today. I go to the next component, spill management. I click on add. All right, and then spill management done and the date. I go to needle stick injury where you teach them about how to prevent um, needle stick and how to manage if they have uh, an injury and then you click on date. Then transmission based precautions. Add. Now, if you are missing any of these components that I just said, the system will give you an error. OK, we have put a logic inside the system. Depending on what you're missing, it will give you the error. Then you reach the vaccination review. Now, the only part that is not mandatory is the vaccination review. If you have any idea about his vaccination, go ahead and fill it here. If you don't know anything about your, his vaccination, it will not impact the uh, generation of the Bixel report because there is no condition. So the condition is to do transmission based precautions, needle stick precautions, uh, 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 respirator fit, uh, pepper training, uh, PPE, but there is no condition to do vaccination. So you can go ahead and click on add and enter any review date, but this has no impact. Now from a quality and from work management, yani, Anna, personally, I would always fill this because it is important. And if you fill it, it will appear on the card. All right. So I can fill here. I did the review today. I checked his vaccination. He had influenza vaccine. He did it, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, June in one year, one year ago. 
and then I have no idea he, he, that he has allergy, that he have allergy, no, and I have no idea about the rest. I completed my form. Please, before you submit, you click on submit, go ahead and double check. This is important. So I go to each component. So the respiratory fit screening, I filled it since everything is no. In this section, I made sure I answered since everything is no, I answered. Yes, for N95. If any of the question above is yes, this should be no. I do not fill quantitative or acute check or whatever. And I fill if the answer to any of this screening question is yes, then paper. Then I go to the second section. Did I fill paper training? Good, very good. Uh, then I go to hand hygiene and I double check spill management. I completed everything. I click on submit. Once I click on submit, it will give me your data has been successfully saved. I close this window and it takes me automatically to the screen that was before. And now do you see down? You have filled out forms. So you have a form, a unique form that, uh, that was filled. Now, and I am done. Then I go again to the next client. OK, so I filled for John Ghazali. Then I want to go and fill for the other person. All right, uh, whoever I go to search client, I go through the same process. Now, somebody asked me how to delete um, if we have multiple uh, forms. So to delete a form, you click on that form, you access the file of the client, you click on that form and you click update. It opens the form. You go down and you click on delete form on the left side. I know people always, <laughs> their eyes goes to the right side. It is on the left side. If you click on delete form, it will delete the form. If you don't have any changes, you close it. All right. Now, I finished uh, this guy, uh, John Ghazali, as I said, and then I uh, go. Check. And then I go, I enter somebody else. I put personal identifier. I search, I don't find her. And I put Ashwa and I fill uh, her, demo, uh, whoever, demographic. Then I create an encounter, blah, blah, blah. OK, and I continue for all my clients. Once I'm done, I will tell them that at night you should receive an email with your pixel card. All right. Now, let's see. Let's say a year passed and then I am still working in that hospital and then I want to go and uh, do a training again. And then what do I see in my class? John Ghazal, his training completed one year ago. He is here for the renewal of Pixel card to become another a valid card because now it's going to be invalid. So I go, I do the training for John Ghazal. I log into Hassan after all my class is gone and then I search for him. Either I use the personal identifier I used before, OK? Or Hassan ID and I, uh, I um, copied and pasted Hassan ID. So you can either use his personal identifier, yani al -ikama, or his Hassan ID. Since I put Hassan ID, I choose the type as client ID. I click on it and I click on search. Or if I already I was in the same moment play, uh, working on his file, please you can go to re recent work and it will show you the file of the client. But Anna, now I'm assuming the scenario that a year passed and I am doing this for this patient, uh, for this client who had it before, and I click on search. Before, when I clicked on search using his personal identifier, nothing was was found. But now I found him. John Ghazal. So I double check. This is the guy. Excellent. And I choose him and I go to subject summary. OK, in subject summary, as I said, you see this pixel. What do I see in pixel? I see that this person already in Jeddah hospital, in Jeddah clinic, he had what? A pixel training. I don't go and create a new encounter. Khalas, no more. I click on the blue high uh, blue hyperlink to open the same encounter clear. So this is the same encounter. Only one encounter. 
Then I go to encounter UGF. And I don't create a new form. I go to the same form. OK, and I click on update. So I open the same form. What do I do here? It's filled. What do I do? I fill another section. So I go to respiratory fit section. Do you see it? And then I click on add. And I fill this. So for me, John, I am doing this the next year. OK, so let's say uh, it's uh, 2022. OK, in June 2022. And then the poor guy has now, I don't know, problem COPD. So I answer yes, he has COPD. Yes. OK, and the rest is no. OK, I reach N95 respirator fit. I answer no, because the poor guy needs a pepper. OK, if yes, I fill this. No, yes. If quantitative, I fill, I fill this. No, In type of N95, I don't fill it. I got, just go here and I say, if the answer to any of the screen question is yes, then a pepper, I click on pepper. All right, so now I did for the next year after it. So I can see the first year in 2021 and the next year after it. And then I go to Pupper Screening and I click Add. And then I enter Pupper Screening. Yes, when? In the year 2022. And I continue. All right, and then I click on Submit. The system will understand. The system will do the calculation and it will take the latest one. Now, if you want to delete, I'm going to delete any added section. To delete any added section, just click on delete. So I deleted this added section. I'm going to delete this also. OK, so this is it. I didn't change anything and I will click on submit. Can I, can and this is and this is this is the whole process is it is as easy and as this. If you fill this uh, on a proper time and then at night, anything that you filled, um, it will go uh, by email to the person, to John Ghazal, to Dima Slayman that I filled for, to Ashwa uh, Lanezi, two, two, two. As long as when I create the file for that person, I do, I put the email. Like I showed you in the beginning, if you don't put the email, it will not uh, display. All right. And this is the system. Let me finish one, uh, one uh, sentence, please. And then I will open for questions. Now, if you don't want the email to be sent automatically to John Ghazali, you can go to the left to reporting and analysis and click on reports. And then you have this, Bixel. You open Bixel. You click on this. And here you already you can put the client ID. OK, you can either choose client ID or personal identifier. I have issues here. People reporting they enter client ID, which is the Hassan file or personal identifier as long as they match. So this is my client ID and this is client ID. If you put personal identifier, please choose personal ID and then click generate report. Now here also is an issue. It takes a long time. OK, for the system, I understand. See, it will give you an error message. Sorry, you need to fill Pixel 4, but you filled it. But the system takes um, a day to refresh. Now, I know it's frustrating. However, as I agreed with your team, we are working on a solution so that the refresh time, yani anything that you put on the system, like for example, you did a mistake and you corrected that mistake, is very fast. So within the coming months, you will find that inshallah, and I will share the information one, once it's done with your team, and they will distribute this information to you, that the refresh time will be fast, and then maybe within one hour, you will be able to print the report, okay? But now it's telling me you need to fill. Now keep in mind every error message you receive has a meaning. Now people are always confused. Pupper is missing, okay? And they think Pupper is missing. It's uh, this error. 
it's it is not missing. It's the proper screening, sometimes uh, proper uh, training that is missing. OK, so please keep uh, in mind what is the message. All right, so I am done. This is basically it. Please, if you have any questions, tfaddal. Uh, excuse me. Tfaddal. Uh, when we're filling uh, Pixel 4, why do we have to add uh, dates like uh, another form? Why we don't we update the date instead of adding another form? Very good. If you update the date, you lose all the data that was before. It is exactly like you are having a file for your client and you go, you take an eraser and you erase and you copy on top of it. No, never do that. If you do that, it means you lost it. Yani, I will lose all the training. After a while, when you open this form, you will find that you did training for him in 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. If you do what you're doing, it means you deleted the work of other people and you only yes. have the latest. Please, okay, very but, important. But Thank you for your question. And in, in, as a healthcare provider in the hospital, do you go and erase the information before? Like, so for example, you take the uh, blood pressure and temperature for this person. Do you go and erase it and enter a new date since it is the same uh, blood pressure? Of course not. You just add a new section. Fair enough. But it doesn't make uh, the system a bit slow. No, the system, the slow, <laughs> thank you. Now, the slowness of the system, if anybody who was with me from the beginning uh, should know uh, that it was very fast. We used to tell them, wait, Anna, when I did the training for Pixel initially, we used to wait 15 minutes and you are able to uh, print the report for your client. Yani basically, you tell them, go for your coffee break and you come back and uh, uh, the, the report is printed and you give it to them by hand. But uh, because of COVID, uh, there is a massive amount of data that is added to Hassan. And that's why we are doing now this new thing so that you will be able to uh, hide that. Don't worry about the system. We are working on making it faster. Okay. But you if you enter, if you double check, please double check your data and you click, you find that your client will receive at 9 p.m., I think around 7, 8 or 9 p.m., an email with his pixel. Now, if you made the mis a mistake, this is the problem. The pixel will not generate. He will not receive the pixel. Uh, maybe you can Mao. You can call him, call the people that you trained, and you tell them, did you receive the pixel for now? Until we find a faster refresh time. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, hello, yes. ma'am. Fadali, please. Yes. About the respiratory fit test the respiratory fit test yes yes because we are entering it um and it's valid date but until now we have a lot of invalid in our hessen portal ah okay thank you very much okay so you are telling me that you are doing this and it is valid at and but when you go to your dashboard which is when here, for example, you know the dashboard, your username, you can use it to go to Hassan Porter. This is what you're talking about. Yes, ma'am, let's see. OK, so and, and when you go to Hassan Porter and uh, you look at your dashboard, it will not give you the proper uh, number. So, for example, you are assuming you have now that you fixed it, it's 10. Now for this could be two things, OK? Uh, what I know, it is because of the refresh time, because if you do it now. And then um, uh, you go and you check immediately, of course, it will not be shown. It will need some time to refresh. All right. So this is my answer. Now, if you still have this problem, Yani, basically you were able to generate a proper pixel for this client. Yani, for example, you started with 10. And then you did one, OK, and it was valid and one day passed 
and you go and generate a report and you have a pixel and then you go to your dashboard and it does still it says 10 instead of 11 valid please send to Hassan support with the ID of that client that you know he's valid for more than a day and he has a pixel but still it is not displaying on your dashboard but please when you do that first to check that his pixel is actually displaying it means he's خلص, the system refreshed and then when you send the email send it please my um, this is uh, who you are and client id don't send only screenshot send the screenshot but send client id blah 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 this client id is valid he has a pixel card but it is not displaying on my dashboard All right, any more questions? I know it's frustrating. The only frustrating and uh, difficult part in this process um, is because it's taking time to refresh. So if you make a mistake and we are all human, we click here and there something wrong. It is taking you a whole day uh, to refresh. We are working on this, but until that time, just just repeat, repeat, repeat uh, and double check before clicking on submit. And maybe give a call the next day to the person that you trained, asking him if he received a valid Bixel card. Yes, any questions? Uh, uh, yes, dear. Yes, please. Uh, if there is uh, some uh, healthcare, uh, healthcare worker uh, transfer for another region or another city, how I will delay it from my hospital? Excellent. All right. So uh, as I said, Hassan is a national application. So if you did it here, yani you did training for him and after six months, he moves somewhere else. All right. Um, yes. in order, now, this is something that we have to agree. Of course, we can do it. You can go into Hassan. All right. And then you can go to the encounter. OK, let me go here. So I am in Hassan. I search for this client. Do you see this encounter? Didn't I put the encounter in context? Yes. yes. I go to this encounter and you go to responsible organization and you change his workplace. Like I showed you. So he, you are working in Imam Hospital. Sorry, I am just giving a, uh, any hospital name. You are working in Imam Hospital. You train this person in Imam Hospital. All right. So after six months, he has a valid pixel. He goes and he moves. OK, you go and you open the same encounter and you change responsible organization to where he is now and the location here the service lo delivery location to his new hospital. Now, the question is, and this is up to your team, should you, should you, the new, the person, خلص, you lost him, yani, uh, you, the old employee change this or the new employee, uh, Haida? Anna, for me, the old employee, once you lose this person, he's not part of your hospital, please go open his encounter and look for responsible organization and location and click on find and change his workplace. All right. Hello. So you know, and know he was working in your hospital and you know which hospital he moved in, you change this. So that the people in the other hospital are capable now of seeing his pixel. There is no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, he already has a pixel and it is still valid. And after that, I have to leave. I am sorry, I have a prior uh, meeting that I have to attend. So if you have any more questions. Dr. Dima? Yes, Fadali. Uh, we have done that uh, some of the uh, data is missing in the web portal. Like we have entered data for 534 staff in our hospital. But when we uh, opened the web, uh, web portal last week, we saw that uh, only 518 it is showing total staff entered the uh, data. 
You so entered uh, 2000, I mean, you mean you entered 2000? Yes. Okay. And then only 500 are displaying on your portal? Yes, like that. It, 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 it. All right. So it's uh, okay. So let me tell you what you need to do. First, you need um, to know maybe the 500 has a valid pixel. The remaining, for some reason, you entered something wrong and the system did not display. To be valid, the system should be able to give uh, this person a, um, a, a valid pixel. So maybe you, okay, you entered it, but you, you don't know if he actually all the people have valid pixel yeah, and it is the system recognized their pixel as valid okay so just as a way of uh, testing i want you to to um, for example one of the people who did not show go and check does he have a valid Sorry, Alu, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, so, so, so the, I, I was on mute for some reason. Um, uh, the lady, um, where was uh, the last thing that you heard? There is somebody who was asking me that they entered 2000 on their uh, uh, pixel, but only 500 is displaying. Did I answer her question? You did not hear. A part of the answer was not heard, Dr. Dima. Yes. OK, so you are telling me you entered 2,000 the last part, only what 500. Was I didn't hear. Yes, so you're entering 2,000, only 500 were not uh, did display. So what I need you to do is go and check one of the person that you are sure you entered for pixel but it's not displaying go and try to generate his report maybe you think you entered it but the system does not recognize that he has a valid pixel if you were able to generate a pixel card for him please send to Hassan support his id say this person's id okay pixel is generated on Hassan but on the portal it's not showing and give us his ID because this might be a portal issue but is if you cannot display his pixel from at at, one, at all that's why it's not either then we need to look into why you cannot generate a pixel for him does this answer the question just okay, thank you test, please just do this test. Any person that you, is not displaying, check he has a valid pixel. If he has a valid pixel, then they should be in the portal. If he doesn't have a valid pixel, of course, he's not uh, going to display on your dashboard. Please, talk then. somebody has a question. Victoria. Can you repeat your question? It's Mahili Jaid Sual. The Nisbal Talabat Limtiaz will mutter the Rebin. Lemmas Jelnahum Al Bixil, the Rabnam Kenyam. Kenna Hindi Hindi. Now, Please, <laughs> Thank you. 
أستاذة جميلة السؤال مرة تانية إذا ممكن بالنسبة للدكتورة للط... بالنسبة لطلبة الامتياز والمتدربين لما نضيفهم بالبكسل ندربهم وندخلهم في البكسل يطلعون في الإحصائية صارت عندنا التغطية مية بالمية وما جينا نسجل موظفين جدد ما قدرنا لما جينا نسجل موظفين يعني وكذا ما قدرنا نسجلهم لأن الطلبة أخذوا ما أدري يعني وضع آه الطلبة فهمت عليك يعني أنتم عندكم عندكم عدد لازم ت... اه فهمت عليك يعني انتم عندكم عدد لازم تغطوه عندكم كفرش انتم غطيتوه بالناس اللي مش تبعوا لكم مش موظفينكم بال بالاتجاه لما دخلناهم صارت الكفرج 100% اه اوكي بليز هيدا قصه الكفرج آه بدك تحكي مع مع التيم تبعكم لانه واضح انه في عندكم ناس لازم تكون برات الكفرج برسنتج احكي مع بهيدي الاشكاليه اذا انت حضرتك او حدا ثاني عنده اياها بليز احكي مع التيم يعني مع الاستاذه اشواء وهي شي ويل توك تو اس يعني اند وي كان فايند ا سوليوشن لانه نحن حطينا كفرج لنقول مين هي لمنطقتك بناء على اللي اعطانا اياه الهيد كوارترز تبع بيكسل يعني المسؤولين تبع بيكسل اذا بدهم انه يزيدوا هيدا او نعمل طريقه لحتى ما الناس الزياده اللي عم بتعملوهم ما يكونوا مغطيين ضمن الكفرج تبع تبعك وي كان فايند ا سوليوشن بليز ارفعي هيدا المشكله للتيم تبعكم اوكي يعطيك العافيه هلا السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام آه الله يعافيك انا عندي سؤال آه اذا ممكن كل كل مستشفى يكون له داشبورد خاص فيه عشان يطلع على الهيد كير وركر اللي هم خلاص نير اكسبايرد آه هذه نقطه النقطه الثانيه اذا خليني جاوب خليني جاوبك على هاي النقطه هو حاليا كل مستشفى عنده داشبورد خاص فيه ليت مي اكسبلين تو يو اذا انت بتجي بتشتغلي بمستشفى الامام وبتبعتوا لي انه ارجو انشاء تبعتوا على حسن سبورت ارجو ارجو انشاء اكاونت لفلان الفلان المدرب هيدا بمستشفى الامام ما بيشوف الا الداشبورد تبعه يعني هو عنده اكسس للداشبورد تبعه خاص فيه اذا حضرتك بتشتغلي انت الكوردينيتور تبع منطقه الطائف تقدر تشوفي كل مستشفيات الطائف بس اذا واحد عملنا له الاكاونت الحساب تبعه على مستشفى معين ما بيشوف الا تبعه مستشفى حق تبعه يعني حق سو so ايوه لانه عندنا مقصود باكاونت انه يكون تحددي مكان العمل طيب تمام ايوه انا في كل مستشفى لانه في كل مستشفى طلبنا عشان الداشبورد تكون عنده يعني مثلا مستشفى مثلا ملك عبد العزيز يبقوا مثلا داشبورد خاص فيهم عشان يشوفوا الهيد كير وركر اللي هو نيل اكسبرت انا اقصد زي كذا انا في مديريه فابغى كل في كل مستشفى يبغوا داشبورد مو مفعله مثلا عندهم يعني يكون مسؤول عنها وانا بيرسون ريسبونسبل كل مستشفى عنده لما ما اعمل انا اكاونت لاي واحد بيكون عنده اكسس على داشبورد بس على المستوى تبع مستشفى وعلى حصر اوكي طيب المستشفى اللي طيب المستشفى اللي ما عنده اقدر ارسل لك على الايميل انه يحتاجون داشبورد ما في مشكله على هلا انا على حد علمي حسن سبورت لما بيجوا بيعملوا انشاء اكونت جديد بيعطوه اكسس للبورتل ولل وللحصر اذا سالت عندك حضرتك انه واحد من المستشفيات قال لك انه انا ما عندي اكسس بليز بعتي على حسن سبورت قولي له انا الكوردينيتور تبع هالمنطقه المستشفى كذا اليوزرز تبعوا له هيدول يعني قولوا لي اليوزر كذا واليوزر كذا اي نيد ذا يوزر ما في عندهم اكسس على البورتل ارجو اعطاهم صلاحيه طيب تمام طيب النقطه الثانيه الله يعافيك انا مثلا جيت بسوي الاحصائيه المستشفى مثلا مدرب 100 وشيء ولا وفي الويب بورتر يطلع لي انه مثلا درب مثلا 74 زي كذا ارقام يعني الارقام مره تكون اقل من من الواقع اللي عندهم فما ادري ممكن هذا في النظام يعني عشان التحديث بس هذه النقطه اوكي هيدي النقطه هي نفس الجواب اللي جاوبته مرتين ومعكم حق يو ار فرستريتد اوكي So we need to know نحنا ليش ما عم بيظهر ما عم بيظهر لأنه system is not recognizing okay إنه هو عمل لمية okay أنتوا عملتوا لمية عم بيظهر consistent في أربعين مختفيين ليش ما عم بيظهروا بيكون ثلاث شغلات يا إنه نعمله اليوم وبعد ما نعمل refresh refresh للsystem لا يظهروا okay so لبكرة يا إنه 
مثل ما قلت لزميلتك اللي بالقبل I am sorry I switched into Arabic so uh, it's the same question that I answered before أو either it's a refresh issue so it's the dashboard is not displaying the accurate number so you need to do this again you go and you double check either the refresh is not it did not refresh and you did the training today wait till tomorrow until all the people that you trained appear on the dashboard or take one person that you know you did the training and then you go and double check that this person uh, it has a pixel because if the system does not generate a pixel for him it will not be displayed on the dashboard if he has a pixel but still Yani, uh, he has no, uh, he does not appear on your, your dashboard. Send us the ID of that page person and we will double check. I am so sorry. Uh, okay, my hello. Gracias. Uh, my time hello, is good over. morning. I have to leave you. Okay, I'll take one more question, but I have to leave you. Tfadal. Uh, I, want to, uh, I want to ask you about how we can know the percentage of the health worker from where we can get it. The percentage. percentage. Okay, so I don't. ما بعرف شو أصدق بالسؤال إذا بتحب تسألي بالعربي. يعني كم النسبة اللي نقدر نقدر نحددها مثلاً يعني من وين يعني يعني أنا مثلاً الحين دربت عندي كذا شخص وأبغى أعرف كم النسبة من وين أقدر أنا أطلعها من حسن. Okay. أنتي شايفين ال Can you see my dashboard my screen? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. so you have access to uh, to, to these uh, dashboards. You have Bixel report and you have Bixel monthly expiry. Bixel monthly expiry, it tells you one month before whose Bixel is expired. And then you have Bixel report. Now for me, it will take time to open because I have access to the whole uh, kingdom. But for you working in your hospital, you will, uh, oh, I clicked on the my, uh, monthly. One second, please. Okay, but for you, it will only open for your hospital. Okay, so I'm going to click on Bixel report. As I said, it takes time for me. I don't know what you uh, what are you looking for, but uh, no, I think here is uh, your report. Uh, where you have total healthcare worker, can you see? Okay, and then it, it, it gives you lots of data. Now, so if you need specific data in a report that you don't have, you need to talk to your team, to Bixel team, and then discuss it with them. If you have a new requirement, they will come to us and we will see. So if you have any new requirement, any new improvement that you believe is needed, please send it to your team. Thank you. All right. Victoria? Um, لو سمحت أنا طيب أهلين دكتورة لو سمحت الآن في التحديث الأخير الآن بالنسبة إحنا سابقا كانت عندنا مشكلة مع الموظفين بخصوص التطعيمات في رفض تام لهم صراحة للإنفلونزا ولا المنجايتس حاليا مو ضروري صح ولا لا؟ ولا أنا صح بطال. مش ضروري أي شيء بتدخله على الإنفلونزا عن الفاكسين دخلت أو ما دخلت كان إكسباير أو مش إكسباير ما عنده أي إمباكت على البكسل ما في كوردشن. سابقا كان احنا في صراع صراحه مع الموظفين وكنا نعاني من هذا المشكله صراحه. صح سابقا كان في كوردشن وطلب التيم ان نقيمه. شكرا لك دكتور. ما ادري في اي سؤال؟ لو سمحتي؟ تفضلي. في ممكن طريقة أن مثلا كل مستشفى يقدر يدخل النسبة النسبة يعني أو المجموع الكل للموظفين اللي لازم نعمل لهم البكسل عشان أنا أقدر كمنسق أني مثلا أشوف المجموع يعني صرنا عم ندخل بديتيلز يعني أنت عم بتقولي أنه your coverage number of coverage is not correct اللي مدخل مو المدخل اللي المفروض يعني total number of employees أيوة اللي المفروض ينعمل لهم. Um, okay, so you need to discuss this with your team إذا ممكن تحكي مع التيم تبعك وقولي لهم إنه نحن نقترح إنه يكون في محل uh, ندخل لأنه نحن عندنا عدد ال صح؟ نحن اللي قدرنا نعمل لكم الكفرج بعتوا لنا من التيم تبعكم الأعداد الموجودة بالهيلث كير وركر. 
اللي هو نرجع على الكلمه انت عم بتقولي لي انه عدد اللي نعب... اللي اعطونا اياه از نوت كوركت يو نيد تو توك تو يور تيم انا اقصد انه ما في مجال انه ينضاف النظام نفسه يعني عم تحكي لا ما فيكي هيدا من الباك اند لحتى يعمل لي كالكوليشن أيوة. وكيف بده يعمل لي كالكوليشن اذا كل مره بتغيرين أيوة. بعدين شو عن اكاونتبيلتي ايشو يعني انه ما ما يمكن التيم تبعكم ما بيقدر يسمح هي على كل حال اذا عندك اي سجشن اي شيء بليز توك تو يور تيم نحن اوبن فور اني امبروفمنت اوكي شكرا دورا معلش انا عندي سؤال آه كان عندي التوتال حقي في حسن بورتر 500 و أباظ يعني بعد ما صار التحديث الجديد صاروا عندي 270 وكلهم فاليد طب فين الباقيين لهم انفاليد ولا اكسباير ولا اي شيء ما ادري فين راحوا اوكي هولي اوكي سو انت اللي عم مضبوط اوف كورس وي هاد ا ترانزيشن بيريد وين الناس اللي كانت فاليد فجاه صارت اكسباير لانه وي ادد نيو كومبوننت صح بالاول ما كنتوا عم تعملوا لنفترض النيدل ستيك تيست تريننج و و و هدول صاروا اكسباير انت عم بتقولي لي منهم اكسباير وي دونت نو بدي اياكي تعملي هالاكسرسايز خدي واحد من هول اللي ما عم بيظهروا وشيكي اذا اكسبايرد او لا نحن عملنا ادجستمنت نحن عملنا ادجستمنت انه كل الناس اللي كانوا قبل فاليد من قبل وبعدين صار التغيير بضلوا فاليد هاو ايفر مش معناته انه ما ممكن يصير في اي مشكله بالسيستم فبدي اياكي قبل ما تبعتي لنا بليز دو ذس اكسرسايز طلعي واحد منهم واحد منهم اللي هو عنده فاليد بيكسل بس ما عم بيظهر وبعطي لنا الايديا على حسن سبورت. انا ام سوري اي هاف تو جو ام سوري لانه تاخرت. اي هاف تو ران. معلش سامحوني. ثانك يو فور اتندينج شكرا لانكم طلعتوا على هيدا على التريننج. بليز فيل فري تو اسك اس اني كويشنز اف يو فيل ذات يو وونت انذر سيشن. Uh, like for example, it's uh, this is not enough for you. You have more questions. You want to go and test the system, and then you have more questions. You can arrange for another session. I don't mind. Your team can arrange for another session, and we can have more questions and answers. Shukran, Well, no problem. And any time you want us to arrange for something, uh, another session, I am ready. Okay. So thank you very much, and I'm going to leave the meeting now. Hello. Shukran. 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 Shukran.